Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Berean and it's time to pop my head out of the gaming world for a bit and look at what's going on in the Christian world and today is a very interesting very interesting thing and it's caused a little bit of ruckus on social media uh, since this announcement but the Vatican has created a mascot Luce for the Jubilee year of 2025 which is a from my understanding, I'm not Catholic. Uh, you could call me Reformed Baptist. It would probably be the closest to my ideals theologically, but I'm definitely Protestant. Ten Southern Baptist Church. You know, that's where I am theologically. And it it, it was it was very weird to see this, and I'm not gonna lie, because I had lots of instant thoughts when I saw this and here's here's the image is this the image yeah that was announced it was put on Twitter and it's caused a lot of you know they announced Luce and this little figurine uh, this was all designed by a company called Tokidoki which is an Italian company that creates little figurines kind of like pop and all that and they're a pop culture company that do that but their co-founder is Catholic so he helped design this character. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, and some of you are not thinking, but we're going to run through what this is, what this means, the pros and cons, and all the little mistakes that I see now. And this is my first impressions. This is not, this is not some final pronunciation or condemnation of Luce and what the Catholic Church is doing, and we'll get into that. First and foremost, as some as a big nerd, and as a Christian nerd, and as a collector, I want this I, I want this figure. I want this figure at home on my shelf. It's adorable. It's cute. She's got the She's got the pilgrim, pilgrim walking stick, even though I don't use a rosary. Uh, she has the rosary. It's just cute. It's adorable. I want one. Uh, yes, please. I do. As a, as a nerd and as a collector, I'm like, I want one. <laughs> just, just, this is how it was. That, that was my first reaction. I'm like, oh, that's adorable. I want one for my shelf. And so a lot of people, a lot of Protestants and a lot of anti-Catholic people went on a big tirade and that was initially my first thought. My initial first thought was you have a mascot for the Catholic church now. And that's when I started reading the articles and getting more information and starting to understand this. They do these Jubilee years about every 25 years and they do special Jubilee year, Jubilee years for, you know, different things to promote different things and kind of, this is what us Baptists would be called like, a revival of sorts almost i mean i'm trying to equate it something that protestants might understand being like we're going to do a revival time you know we're going to focus on this and we're going to focus on these things we're going to pray on this and all that so it's more of a revival type thing from my understanding any catholics that are watching this please feel free to educate me send me some stuff i'm not familiar with the jubilee years and I, i'm you know i've got a catechism of the catholic church somewhere in the living room i'll have to pop that out and start reading on it and to understand what's going on but this isn't a mascot for the catholic church this is a mascot for this time of year that is going to focus on the pilgrimage and bringing people to the catholic church so my apologies, man. It's been windy today, and my eyes are just itching like crazy. Um, what this really is, in my opinion, this is the new Catholic Bob and Larry. You know, from Veggie Tales. Don't get me wrong. I love Veggie Tales. I can sing most of the silly songs, and I can sing Mr. Lunt's Where's My Cheeseburger 
you are my cheeseburger. Um, you are my cheeseburger. And where's my hairbrush? Probably from memory, getting most of the words right. So I'm a big fan, and one of my dreams is to have a huge Bob and Larry big pillow to keep on my bed for fun, just just to have so my kids will be like, Dad, why do you have vegetables on your bed? Because they're like, and why do you have Bob and Larry? Because they grew up watching VeggieTales too. I made them watch VeggieTales because it was cute. It was wholesome. Love it. This is going to be kind of that thing. They've created a multiple friends and things like that. So that's, it's not a mascot. So let's just, it's not a mascot for the Catholic Church, which was how it was kind of announced and kind of made a lot of people think that because my first reaction was like, a mascot for the Catholic Church. You mean Jesus? You know, <laughs> it was kind of like, uh, what? <laughs> it was. It was. It was a very interesting thing. I was like, what are we doing here? But now that I understand this and did this more, um, and I will say this: I think the biggest problem with this is not the fact that they're 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 creating this uh, anime style group of friends to teach kids about the Catholic Church. Personally, the biggest thing is her name, Luce. Because Americans see that and see Lucy. And us nerds have a character that we refer to as Lucy. Lucifer. From the DC Comics. Everyone calls him Lucy. That's his nickname. They don't call him Lucifer. Like his close friends will call him Lucy. Not Lucifer. So it's kind of like... Mm, you shouldn't have done it. And the fact that, you know, she is kind of trying to bring light and understanding and knowledge to the world. I mean, like, it's like, oh, Lightbringer. Lightbringer. Oh, yeah, the other name for Lucifer. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just bad optics. I'm not saying it's wrong, and I understand why they're doing it and why they named it that way. I don't have a problem with it, but westernized optics should have picked a different name doesn't really matter what shouldn't have gone with Luce but it is what it is and I think okay it's still adorable and here uh, I couldn't find this exact photo I found something similar on reddit but someone posted this on twitter uh, pine sap and it's more of a breakdown of all of the symbolism in the character design and things like that. And oh man, I lost the page. Hold on, guys. Oh, I lost that article. Or is it down here? No, it's down here, isn't it? There it is. Okay, there it is. I was like, wait, I lost the article. Nope, here it is. What? So we'll get back to. Yeah, so this. So ADD today. Um, but we'll get back to this. We'll get back to the friends here in a second. But it gives, you know, what the angel represents, why the raincoat, the Holy See, her dog companion, which represents uh, San Rocco, who was the uh, patron saint of pilgrimage. And she has lights in her eyes right there. And so it, it breaks down how they develop this character and what she's supposed to represent. So... You can look it up. You can go to Twitter, go to Pineceps page, Pineceps feed, and see this for yourself. And uh, just to kind of get a breakdown, if you're curious of what everything that she has and what it represents. But let's go back to, there we go, her friends. So it's going to have announced now. So she's going to have a friend. So it's going to be kind of like, I'm not sure exactly if they're going to do animation, if she's going to be books, what, I don't know. But they created the characters. Her pilgrim friends, Fee, which I'm going to guess is this one right here. The little girl with the pink hair, because Fee is Latin for female. Zen, which is 
it's hard depending on where you go, but I'm guessing it's going to go with the etymology that it comes from to seek, to find, to beg, to ask. And I'm guessing it's going to be this little guy here, and I'm guessing. And sky, I'm guessing sky, strictly because sky blue is what I'm thinking blue. But I think these two may be switched, don't know. But I'm guessing sky because the blue raincoat. But these are adorable little characters that are designed to promote uh, thinking into the and teaching young children about the Catholic Church. Now I can sit. Here, I'm not going to sit here and break down all the things wrong in the Catholic Church and their practice and theology. In the end, it's they need to have God first and things like that. Jesus is the one and only way. You know, I'm a Protestant. You don't need an intermediary between you and God. You go directly to him. But even though there's a lot of people on my side, the Protestant side, and definitely the Reform side, that are very, very few Catholics are Christian in their mind, I still see them as brothers and sisters in Christ. And I don't wish any ill towards them. I do think that they've got some theological things wrong, for sure. But I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't. Some people are like, oh, this is terrible. I'm like, I really don't. That would be like if the Catholic Church got mad at us Protestants for Veggie Tales, like I mentioned before. Or, you know, like McGee and Me. Or, you know, Bible Man. I mean, what? I mean, anything like that. These are characters that were designed to teach kids fundamentals of the Christian faith, about the Bible, and this will be similarly done through the Catholic Church. So, I know a lot of people are like, oh, they shouldn't be doing this. I was, I was like, this is marketing. They, they, they came up with an idea to help engage their faith with their younger members and younger children of their current members. And I don't, I don't hate it. I, I, I think as if I was in the Catholic Church and I was Catholic, I would absolutely be just posting this everywhere and loving it. I'm not Catholic, so I'm not going to promote it. But as a nerd and a collector and a huge anime fan, I do want all the characters on one of my shelves because they're Christian anime characters, whether they're Catholic or not. And they're adorable looking. I mean, seriously, they're cute. I mean, just come on. It's like, at least give me Luce and the puppy. You know, just just give me those two. I'd love the whole set. I don't know if they're going to do it, but I mean, I've already looked and people are already asking. I mean, this was announced today and there's full on threads all over Reddit about, you know, it, what, are the, what are they going to do with this? You know, where, where are they going to make characters? Is it going to be short films? Is it going to be anime? Is it going to be books? What, what are we what are we talking about here? And they've announced none of it. And a lot of the weird stuff, too, is there's a lot of people on the manufacturer side uh, that are big fans of Tokidoki that are like, what are they doing? Why are they collaborating with a religion to create these characters? I was like, their co-founder is a very devout Catholic who is basically, he's a Catholic nerd and who who loves enjoying pop culture. And when they, they came to him and said, hey, can you help us work on this? And they worked together and created this. This is a collab and fine. I have no problem with that. But we need to take a step back because, like I said, I was one of those ones that, like, initially when I saw this was like, what in the heresy are they doing? You know, I mean, <laughs> I was like, okay. But now that I did some more research and some more reading, and I'll continue to do some, but this is more, it's, it's, it's for kids. It's to help teach kids about the Bible and the Catholic faith. This isn't, quote, so much a mascot for Catholicism. This is kind of a marketing ploy to help engage younger audiences. And believe it or not, I was dumbfounded. You know, can't believe they went the anime route. 
which is weird, but kind of like, okay, what are we doing? Okay, this is interesting. You know, I do find that this is a beneficial thing for children to learn about the Bible. And hopefully they will continue to learn it on their own and continue to dive deep in theology and come to saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. But that is me. That is how I see this. I'm viewing this as a Protestant, looking at what the Catholic Church is doing. And as much as I would love to bash, and I said this before, I'm not going to bash them. Coming at this, this is a cute thing. This is a good thing for children. Worst case scenario, sorry about that. Worst case scenario, it is a silly little show or books about teaching kids about the Bible. That's worst case. And I think if that's the worst case, then yeah, it's all good. These are children that are quote-unquote pilgrims learning about the Catholic faith. These are not saints. They are children that are going to teach other children about the Bible. At the end of the day, that's a good thing. And in the context of the Catholic Church, that is a very good thing. In the context of Christians outside the Catholic Church, it's a step in the right direction. So, that's my take on Luce and Friends and it's not as bad as everyone initially thinks. I do think the way it was expounded on social media could use a little revamping. And um, But it is what it is. It's out there. I'm kind of curious on what's going to happen with it. And I'll come back when I find out what they're going to do with these characters. Just to kind of give you an update. Just because it's interesting. Because if we get like cute anime stuff like this. And it's not like overtly Catholic on some of their wrong takes, then yeah, I'm all for it, you know. But I'm interested in just seeing what they do. So calm down, people. This isn't a new mascot for Christianity, this is a cute little collection of characters. To teach children about the Bible. So just relax. It'll be okay. This is just Catholic veggie tales. Okay. So until next time my friends. As always. I love you all. And there's nothing you can do about it.